Hey, I'm Dex, a product specialist at Jamstick. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Jamstick Studio to the Creator plugin via Reaper. First, plug your Jamstick into the computer using the supplied USB cable and turn it on. Next, open Reaper. In the default template, navigate to Insert in the top bar and then select Track. Inside the new track, click Effects and then locate the Jamstick Creator VST3 and select it. You'll notice it immediately connects to the Jamstick Studio and displays the battery life here under the Device Settings tab. Now that we have an instance of the Creator plugin loaded and our Jamstick connected, let's double check our audio preferences. To do this, navigate to Options in the top bar and select Preferences from the drop-down menu. We recommend using the ACO audio system and then selecting your audio interface for the driver. In this case, we're using a Focusrite interface, so we'll select that. The last setting to look out for here is the device block size. Without getting into too much detail, the higher this number is, the more lag you will experience in your playback. 128 is a great place to start, but if you're still noticing that lag, you can always jump back in and go lower. To make sure it's all working properly, let's record a quick chord progression. Open up the creator and navigate over to the preset browser tab. You'll see the presets are sorted by type and instrument. For this demonstration, let's use the Dreamy EP patch. Double check that your metronome is on, the track is armed, and the track is also set up to receive information from all channels. Then hit record. Now you can open up the MIDI roll to fix any mistakes you might have made or any unwanted artifacts that may have appeared. And we'll stop here for today, but hopefully you found this informative and if you'd like to learn more about the Jamstick Creator and its functionality as a utility app and sound design tool, be sure to check out the video linked in the description box.